Yeah. Right. It says you're live. Okay. Not on here. Oh, should we like refresh the screen? Oh, oh. here we go. All right. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hello. Good morning. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. How are reviews? <laughs> Mike and Jamie in the morning. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We got two people watching. One of them is us, so but that's all right. Some more people will show up hopefully soon. So yeah, so yeah, for people, uh, a lot of people watch this, I guess, like after it's live. So we're not gonna just like wait around for people to show up because that's yeah. gonna be pretty boring for people watching it after. So yeah, so we're just gonna have some uh, some spicy breakfast here. And uh, just uh, chat if you have questions. Uh, just ask us, ask away. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then we'll uh, we'll open a box and then we'll have a big announcement, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's get going. So what we have here is some uh, some oatmeal. It's, of... it's um banana peanut butter oatmeal that we made. Yeah. Well, that Jamie made. Yeah. Because she's uh, she's the she's the oatmeal one in our family. We like take turns making. Foods, I make some breakfast stuff, she makes yeah. some breakfast stuff, so it's one of her specialties is oatmeal. And uh, a lot of people, I've seen people say that they put hot sauce on everything except for cereal. Does oatmeal count as cereal? Kind of. I don't think so. I think it's like its own thing. It's its own thing, I guess, so it doesn't count as cereal. I no, guess. Wait, when, I don't know, maybe. When we were in college, though, you ate like so much oatmeal. Like, like this is like handmade oatmeal. Yeah. But you would eat that like quicker packages. Yeah. But you would eat like three packages. But then didn't I'd you? I usually eat like four. But then didn't you put like a ton of milk on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, I'd eat, make like four packs, and then yeah, you put the hot water on it to like make it whatever it is, and then you just like put the milk on it. Oh, see, look. Yeah. Uh, Jay uh, Pernstein, he says, yes, I think it is. So I think he's talking about cereal. Yeah. I think it's a hot cereal. So, okay. right? So people say putting hot sauce on cereal is weird. Uh, but that's what we're going to do because it's actually really awesome. Uh, I also have a scorpion pepper here. Uh, this one uh, was from uh, Heiko, actually. Uh, Heiko Hot Sauces. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of scorpion peppers for him when I was training for my... Uh, Guinness record attempt at Chicago Hot Sauce Expo that didn't, it got rained out, so. But anyway, I had some frozen, um, because there's not like uh, fresh peppers around here right now. So I got this one, I'm just gonna cut it up and put it in the cereal here. Uh, while I'm doing that, why don't you talk about what you're gonna put on your cereal? Well, I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide between like the clove peplish one and the lemon dragon elixir and like this Dawson's chocolate one. And I was like, well, peanut butter and chocolate go good together, banana and chocolate go good together. So that's why I picked this chocolate one. I actually haven't had the chocolate one like on anything except the spoonful. And it's so good because it tastes like chocolate syrup. Yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah, see Ian says it's a cereal. And then Jay Fernstein says his wife puts blueberry hot sauce on her oatmeal. Yeah, I'm really excited yeah. to, um, we got a Pepper Joe blueberry one. I'm like super excited to put it on, yeah, like oatmeal, ice cream. Yeah, it's a blueberry reaper sauce. It's their new one. I think we're going to open that one up pretty soon. Yeah. I have here a hot sauce, uh, I just tried for the first time, like last night actually. And it's, uh, it's really good. It's, um by uh, Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce. It's a uh, Huckleberry Ghost. And I kind of just, um, we actually got a bunch of uh, hot sauces from uh, Matthew over at Slim's Pepper Co. that um, he just, uh, he had too many in his fridge. And he, then, thought, he thought we'd finish them off quicker, so he just tossed them to us. Well, and his, fr his one fridge broke. Oh yeah, and his fridge broke too, so that's why he was getting rid of some sauces. Um, but yeah, I didn't even like really look at what it was. I just like put it on some peanut butter toast and I thought it was blueberry, but then I was like, this doesn't taste like blueberry. And yeah, it's huckleberry. I've never like even heard of a huckleberry before. But yeah, it's got a it's got a good taste to it for sure. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these scorpion peppers in here and 
mix them up and then put some of that on top, I think. Oh, uh, you know what I kind of regret? So we don't usually have like ice cream in the house, but we but there was some like on crazy sale. So we had some um, like Oreo ice cream and I should have put this chocolate on it. Oh yeah, that would have been good on some. But, what was it, Oreo? Was it Oreo yeah. ice cream? But I did say I was saving the, my very first hot sauce to go on ice cream to be the harder than L um, cinnamon one. Oh I'm yeah, like it's like cinnamon and blueberry, yeah. right? Um, okay, so Ian's like, have you tried the Reaper chocolate bar? I've been thinking of order, ordering one. Who's? Um, I'm not sure. Who's Reaper chocolate yeah. bar? Yeah. Like Slim's? We've tried the Slim's one. Yeah, the Slim's one is good. Yeah, he's got a Reaper chocolate oh, bar. Oh yeah, he said Slim's. Yeah, we yeah, tried it, yeah. um, and it's super good. I actually, like, touched my eye after eating it, oh, and then, yeah. like, my eye was just, like, burning and I had to, like, wash it off. We did a video where we tried it. It was one of our older videos. Yeah. Um, we So it was like the Dirty Dancing one. So we talked about Dirty Dancing, and then we yeah. drank some like spicy kombucha, and then ate the Slim's chocolate bar. Yeah, because we used to, uh, if you didn't see the channel when we started, uh, it was uh, like we would do spicy stuff, and then we would um, review a movie. Yeah. So, oh yeah, this one's got a stopper on it, but I think that's okay. Yeah, Jay says, uh, peanut butter swirl ice cream with chocolate reaper may mix well. Yeah, that would be good. All right, so I've never put like a, like a pepper in oatmeal before though, so oh, that might yeah. be crazy, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. If you guys have questions right now, just, uh, just ask away or we're just gonna like, just kind of shoot the shit, I guess. Yeah. Um, until we like... Because, you know, we did these other live videos, and we would just, like, uh, not get our breakfast done. It would be, like, pretty cold by the end, so we're just gonna, like, pound it, and then just, like, do the box opening after. That's cool with you guys. What do you guys think? You're, like, weird. So, when I eat my food, I don't like when it's, like, cold. Um, like, sometimes, sometimes I'll, like, re- like, I'll microwave it to, like, warm it up. But you're cool with, like, eating your food cold. Yeah. So the toast was all, like kind of gross because it was cold and stuff when we'd eat avocado toast. Yeah. And I'd just be like, oh. I don't know, I think I think that's just weird. Um, it's a weird thing with me, I guess. Like, I just eat, um, it's like my food, like, I'd say like luke, lukewarm, like room temperature food, I guess, instead of like, you like yours like piping hot, so. Yeah. Whenever we reheat something, Jamie usually puts it on for like twice as long as I mm -hmm. put it on. I'm also one of those guys who likes toast, like, just barely toasted, like, almost, like, almost just warm bread, I guess. Oh, I can't. When it's, like, soggy in the middle, that's, that's gross to me. What's, what are people saying? Works for me. I'll stick with coffee for now. I kind of want to do this one, too. Oh, Ian says he's catching up on our early bits. Thanks. But if you if you don't want to, you don't have to. Like, I think our vids have got better with better with time. Some of the early ones are like kind of rough, I guess. But I don't know. I wasn't in very many of the early ones. Yeah. We talked about like, oh, this Arthur Wayne one is like fairly spicy. Yeah, it is. What's uh, what's in it? It's got um, white vinegar, huckleberry, water, ghost pepper, pineapple. Uh, salt, natural sugar, xanthian gum. So it's the ghost pepper. It's not like yeah. super high in the ingredients list, but yeah, it's got a bit. I think this is, mine is a bit hot because of that pepper yeah. I put in there, but it's not really like crazy hot for me. I wasn't in very many of the videos. We did like the big sick and we yeah. ate some food with it. I did the dirty dancing one. Oh, and then we did the, um, the room one, the Franco yeah. one. What's that, what's that movie called? Oh, I should know that. Um, oh, The Disaster Artist. Yeah, The Disaster Artist. I did that one. Um, I did one where I ate like a patali pepper. I did that one where I put like hot sauce in the jalapeno. Yeah. And then I drank that like weird alcohol your parents gave us. Um, there was a short one we did at uh, Pepper Palace where we all tried oh, yeah. uh, I don't really consider that a video. Yeah, it's got a lot of views. It's one of our most watched like videos, but it's like not really that good. Like we're just trying. We end. 
I think it got sneezed. <laughs> they also like oh. only let you do. I think the peppers will just get into my a nose. Toothpick amount. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah. So, something I heard from another YouTube channel uh, called uh, Dead of Nerds. Okay. Oh, somebody said, bless you, thank you. <laughs> um, is, uh, I was telling you about the, like, Marvel, um, <clears throat> sorry, the new, the new Marvel movies that are coming out, right? Yeah, um, oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, it was like. And, a, uh, Angelina and Kamal movie? Yeah. Okay. And there's, like, uh, the new, uh, Thor movie and Black Widow. And the Elizabeth Olsen movie? Oh yeah, that's a, it's a show, yeah. Oh, but okay. like, um, um, what's it called? Uh, WandaVision. But the, they, they brought up like a, a controversy that I didn't really, I didn't even really think about this, but. Okay. But they said that, um, they think there's a controversy going on that they think the new stage of the Marvel movies is too woke. Because they have, they're having like a female Thor and the in the TV show, they're having like a female Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. They're having like the first Asian superhero, the first Asian lead superhero. Like Kumail Nanjiani is going to be a superhero, so probably like got to be the first like Pakistani well, superhero. Let's say for one thing, if it wasn't for Angelina, I'll watch that movie. But it's, I'm only going to watch it because I love Angelina Jolie. She's an amazing human being. Yeah. And I love Kumail Nanjiani. And we have to support the Asians in the film industry. So that's the, those are the old, I don't care what it's about. I'm going to watch it because yeah. I, I want to support them. So you've just taken my money. I like those people too. I'm going to watch it just because it's a Marvel movie and I watch all the Marvel movies because they're awesome. But here's the awesome. thing. It's not too woke. We're not, we're still not woke enough. Like, it's 2019. Okay. So it's been a hundred years. This gets me. Women were allowed to vote a hundred years ago. We still don't have equal rights a hundred years later. And people are saying we're too woke. Like, bitch, please. No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I knew that would get you around that. <laughs> what are people saying? In the books, many characters are now female. Thor, Iron Man, etc. Yeah. But I think it's a good thing. I don't know, like, I don't know if it makes me, I don't know if it makes me a little bit of a perv, but I kind of like uh, female and females right. in action movies, right? Like Kill Bill. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome movie. And, you know, just add, like, like, why not? Like, you know, you have, like, the action you want to see yeah. and, you know, maybe. There's some, like, badass, like, ladies in sports, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, um... So like uh, the well, Will the Williams sisters in tennis. Yeah. Like um, insane. The only reason I watched Captain Marvel was because like it was a woman, just to like support it. Yeah, for sure. It was better than I thought. I'm not like super into comic book movies, but I enjoyed it. I I wouldn't watch it again, but yeah, maybe not a popular opinion, but like sometimes. Things get a little bit too much hype because they're like, yeah, they're like that, right? The Captain Marvel didn't get like crazy amount of hype. It was like a decent movie, but like, uh, maybe I shouldn't even say this, but like Black Panther, like it was a good movie, but it wasn't like a great movie. And for it to be like the first like comic book movie to be nominated for like best picture mm -hmm. at the Oscars, like that's like. That's kind of wild. Like it's it's cool that a comic book movie like got in there. Like there's so yeah. many action movies that, or even like comedies that just don't get uh, any recognition because of the genre that they are. But they're like awesome movies. Like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But like for me, like you know, it came like Black Panther came out the same year as like Avengers: Infinity War. And Avengers: Infinity War is like I think it's my like favorite like comic book movie. Yeah. So here's the thing. So in my book club, two months ago, we read Crazy Rich Asians because we wanted to read like a lighthearted book. Um, and one of the girls in my book club is um, half Asian. And I said like, to be honest, I didn't like this book. I didn't finish it. 
um, because it was too materialistic, like over the top, it's like too much excess spending for like my taste. And I was like, but it is really important, because the movie came out, it's really important to have like an all Asian cast in a movie. And she said, yeah, it's okay for you not to like it, um, but it, it, but it's still an important yeah. thing. Exactly, yeah. Well, yeah, like those other movies we were talking about, like, like Black Panther, it's a very important movie, obviously, right? Yeah. But it just like, I don't know. It seemed like, I don't know, like spoiler alert if you haven't seen Black Panther, but he's not, it seems like he's not in half the movie. Mm -hmm. Like he's like, they think he's dead and he's not there for a while. And yeah, I don't know. I thought like Michael B. Jordan was like really good in the movie. It's like, Michael B. Jordan is like pretty underrated. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so for sure. And yeah, the first empowering women is great too. Yeah. One of the first things I saw Michael B. Jordan in was, um, oh, it's a movie with Zac Efron and Miles Teller. Oh, I am. I forget. Is it was... like The Awful Truth or something? It's like a romantic comedy. But when I watched like it, that. when I watched it, I was like, man, like even Miles Teller, Miles Teller is like super underrated um, and he's super talented. So I think for the first time ever, I finished my food before yeah. you finish your food. I also can't like eat oatmeal fast. Like yeah, I can't eat a lot of it either. I got like a decent burn in my mouth going on. Yeah, I threw in a scorpion pepper to help build up my my powers for eating scorpion peppers. I think that I think they're like kind of my weakness for the super hots. I think I can handle Carolina Reapers better than I can handle scorpion peppers. They just have a different burn. And I've had a lot more Carolina Reapers and Scorpion yeah. peppers, so like just eating them in challenges and just like there's a lot more Carolina Reaper pepper hot sauces than there are uh, Scorpion pepper hot sauces it seems too. So, but yeah, I got I had a bit of a like Scorpion pepper just like sting. Like I think they have like a deep sting. is like what yeah. I describe it as. Yeah, it's funny because I do like you know speed challenges with peppers and stuff, and I can do that stuff like pretty fast now after you know, like practicing and trying and stuff. But then when it just comes to like, Jamie and I just sitting down and eating dinner, she's always done like way before me to the point where she's just like, I don't know, you're just like kind of sitting there like bored and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna just like go and do something else now and you just leave. <laughs> like we eat outside a lot of the time now because yeah. it's good weather and she'll go like check out the garden and I'm still like eating my food and Whatever, well, so. it always happens if I'm cooking dinner because usually if I'm cooking dinner, I'm like, okay, dinner's ready, and then like get your food before I do. Yeah. Because when I'm cooking dinner, I've already decided like what hot sauce I'm putting in. Yeah. So I already know. Whereas you're like, oh, I'm like, I don't know which one should I put in. All right. What else are people saying here? Let's see. Uh, not enough. Not enough hot sauce for. Oh, because they keep putting sure. more Arthur Wayne in. Oh, because they keep putting more on? They just yeah. keep putting more drops in. Because this one's not hot. Um, I feel like this is more like a cooking sauce or like something. Like, I feel like that, like, somebody that can't really handle hot sauce, like, could would do this. I think that's what it's designed for. Yeah, it's definitely one of Dawson's, like, milder sauces. Yeah. But, oh, yesterday I was at work and I brought my lunch. I had, like, some quinoa with some veggies. And I was like, oh, we have this, like, Pepper North Memento de More sauce. Mm. I'm just going to, like, finish it. Like, it was, like, I don't know, like, the <clears throat> next worth or whatever. So I put it on my food. And then I think it was, like, the heat of the food and the spiciness. My mouth just, like, felt burned. And I was like, oh, man, it's, like, so spicy. I like, and I forgot how hot it was, yeah. too. And that's, then, a, that's a good sauce if you guys haven't tried that yeah. one. It's, it's like, like black a, cherries, right? Yeah, it's, okay. like, black cherry and reaper, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, I guess for most people it is a fairly hot sauce, but I just, I just like load that up on my, on my food. It's like, I might have it's had pretty like, awesome. I might have had like an almost Mike Jack, like yeah? amount on. Yeah. And if you're in Canada, it's a pretty easy sauce to get now. Like they're like, uh, I think they're like nationwide now mm -hmm. in Canada, uh, coast to coast in grocery stores. I think they're in like all the like, uh, Sobe stores and yeah. they're in a lot of, uh, like metros and stuff mm -hmm. now too, so yeah, good for peppers while you're. It's good. While you're finishing yours there. 
I tried it before, just on a spoon, but it just smells just like chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's like cocoa. Yeah, cocoa powder. Brown sugar, water, vinegar, cocoa powder, chili pepper. But yeah, if you don't know, uh, if you don't know Dawson sauces, they got a, they got a lot of good ones. Yeah, they got some like pretty hot ones that I really like too. Yeah, they have like two like crazy hot. Oh yeah, it's just like it's just like chocolate syrup. With I this, know. I just get like a really. I don't really get like a lot <laughs> much spice mm -hmm. at all, but oh, it's just like it's like just like having a spoon of chocolate here. Um, I want. I really want to try their pear one, but the Szechuan one is like so good. Yeah, yeah, Szechuan ghost pepper. That's probably yeah. I had that on my top ten sauces list last year. Yeah. And then this year from Dawson's, I had their uh, their newest sauce, mm -hmm. the Reaper Ma uh, Reaper Mayhem, which is a pretty hot sauce, but it's just like it's got a real like classic flavor and it's real like kind of creamy. That's why, yeah, I like their classic one that was on Hot Ones because it's creamy. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like the one that was on Hot Ones, but yeah, hotter but crazy sure, yeah. hot. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've heard Heatness has the sauce bundle. Um, Hot Sauce Unlimited actually have has bundles too. They yeah, have cool bundles in Canada because they do, yeah, because they do like a chili head um, box, which is like good because you said oh, before yeah. like. Oh, the box descriptions are neat, but like, what if we get like a really mild sauce? Yeah. Um, which is like a super neat idea. But the, I don't think that Heatness sends it to Canada because, yeah, their international shipping like is super expensive. Yeah. Like, we've only ordered from Heatness once, and I think the shipping was like $25. I think that the Dawson's like Szechuan one, I'm fairly certain that it started as like a heatness exclusive too. Oh, cool. And I think it, I think the first people to try it were people who had that subscription box. Oh, okay. And then after a while, then they they had a deal where they just released it for for anybody. So I'm it's good because then we tried it and it's awesome. I'm excited to like try it again because the first time we got it, like I definitely wanted it for the peppercorn, and then so we just like bought it because we wanted yeah. to buy some. Um, but it was too hot for me back then, yeah. and I would put it on food and just be like, oh, I like, I love it, but it's too hot. So now, I don't think it will be, like, too hot for me. I think it will be, like, a perfect level. Yeah. Oh, show. All right, should we just see what other people are saying and then, uh, yeah. then open the box here? Oh, yeah, Jay Brinson's, to... um, when he gets a mild sauce, his kids get it. That's oh, good. yeah, that's a good idea. Do we need to, do we need to go up? Do we miss people's comments or? Um, no, Jay said that fresh uh, reapers kill him. Kill him the worst. Yeah. I think that's how it is for like most people. Like for me, it's, uh, like for me, it's, it's scorpion peppers that, mm. that get me the worst. I'd say that's like my kryptonite kind of, but okay. I, I don't die like Superman. Yeah. Wouldn't he eat like <laughs> some kryptonite peppers or whatever, but like, yeah, it's just like a different like it's just different sting, and I just like I'm just like way more used to reapers just from all the reaper sauces and stuff. Yeah. But, um, scorpion peppers are you know pretty pretty similar heat like you can you know because people look at the the Scoville rating and the Scoville rating has a range right so sometimes you're gonna get a scorpion pepper that's hotter than like a reaper pepper and stuff like that right so. Um, I just don't like the smell of reapers. I think they smell like dirty feet. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Mark you said... so much... Oh, what's this? You ate so much Taco Bell. You ate... Even much. without the reapers, I'm sure you could do it. Yeah, sure. Um, Mark said that he can handle super hearts better than jalapenos. What? Really? Than jalapenos? I guess. Well, I don't know. It's like different for everybody. Yeah, else. jalapenos. They're they're probably like the one where like their skin is like thicker. Yeah. And all the and then I find the super hot are thinner skinned, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. Like the jalapeno is like the the texture of like a sweet pepper. I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Jalapenos really like, um. Like, you know, sometimes you'll just get a jalapeno and just like eat it and you won't get any heat at all. But mm -hmm. sometimes I find like, even like, you know, 
with someone like me doing crazy reaper challenges, you like some jalapenos you like eat and then you're like, whoa, this is actually like pretty hot. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Cause my, I think it was last year or the year before, like when my mom grew them yeah. and she gave us some and then we were just like eating them and then she gave us more and I ate one and I was like, whoa, like this one's way hotter than the other ones yeah. we had. Remember there was somebody who was like uh, giving them away down yeah. the street and we like, well, we were walking home and just like taking them out and just like eating them and we're yeah. like, oh, these are like hotter than we yeah. expected. But Those ones were really like florally too. And I find, I find with jalapenos like, they like lose, for me anyway, I find they like lose heat like totally if you like cook them or whatever. Yeah. But like, remember we like barbecued those yes. ones. And I was like, these are like not hot, like not, like there's nothing. Yeah. But like your parents who like are not in the heat at yeah. all. They were, they had to, they put them on their burger and they had to like scrape them off. They're like, oh, we're eating over at the, over at the Jack. So we need to like spice their food up. And then, yeah, they tried putting <laughs> jalapenos on there. And I think after like one bite, they took them off. Yeah. But also Jamie's dad is in one of the videos, uh, in like the live version of the, um, when I eat the 30 reapers yeah, and uh, we needed a volunteer to like show how hot the reapers were and he just took like the smallest little nibble out of one and he was messed. He was, he was more messed than yeah. I was yeah. after eating 30 and he was like, uh, he like, they walked back to our place to like get their yeah. car or whatever. And he said that on the way he threw up three times. Yeah. And I only threw up one. I threw up a lot, but I just threw up the one time. I, like, felt bad. And then my mom's like, no, like, he wanted to try it anyway. Yeah, I feel bad for Bone and Jimmy there. Okay, what else are people saying? Um, I don't know. You know where we are. Yeah, if you so, read like, something. Butterfly Bakery Pink Pepper Oh, well, let's say a, Let's say a shout out to, like, E101. Okay, hello. E101. Everybody probably already watched yeah. E101, but check them out. They're pretty cool. Um, if you haven't seen them already, but you probably have. They're, everybody knows them, right? Right now, I think. Sorry, what were you saying? Brendan's skin is probably glowing right now from, like, his, uh, charcoal Oh, mask. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took that video out, uh, yeah, trying out a, what is it, some, like, beauty mask or something? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, if there's extract, like, the bomb school will numbers become meaningless. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's not very accurate. Yeah, because like somebody commented on one of my videos because I, I read out like um, the the Scoville units on the back yeah. of the bomb, and they're just like, oh, like why are you being such a wuss? Like it's got the same Scoville rating as a habanero, and I'm like, yeah, but it's like an extract. Have you tried it? Like try try it out, buddy, and then get back to me. And let me know. Let me know how uh, how not hot <laughs> how not hot that is. Um, yeah, but well, he 101 says he can't handle yeah. spicy. Yeah, right. <laughs> you do pretty good. Um, Romans says scorpions and reapers burn the same. Reapers do have a different smell. Yeah, this smells weird. Uh, yeah, having arrows are crazy and consistent. That's what Roman's saying. Okay, so yeah, like Mark says, um, are candy. yeah, I don't find like actually, like. There was a time when I thought pickled habanero, a uh, pick, pickled ha, ha, bleh, pickled ha, jalapenos yeah. were hot. Because you know you get them at the movie theater yeah. on your nachos, and remember I would just like get some and I'd be like, I'd be like sweating in the theater, and then you'd be like, oh, can you just put them on one side? Because like, even the hot. juice would bug me. Yeah, that was back in the that was back in the day yeah. though. Um and. Um, remember we'd get pizza and we'd get um, jalapenos on it and I'd eat like one piece with like one slice and then I'd be like, oh here you can have my jalapenos, like I can't eat anymore. Yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's what it is. Some people, I don't know, I've heard people be like, oh, like they've asked me like, oh, like did you like, like, how do you like handle this stuff? Like you like build tolerance or you're just born with it? I'm like, I don't know, like. I don't know if anybody's like actually born with it. Like you used to, I used to get wrecked like off of yeah jalapenos or like no, it's pranks just, and stuff. It's just what you're used to. Like, yeah. like people in India, they can handle their spice from a young age just because they're eating so much different spices yeah. for every single meal. Yeah. Um, Mark says that the makeup of a jalapeno will aggravate H. pylori, and what? cayenne and super hot will kill it. It's like a stomach bacteria. Oh, really? Yeah. 
That's interesting. Oh, weird. Yeah. Um, and then Mark's gastro said stay away from jalapenos, but the rest are okay. Huh. Yeah, we find that, like, um, kombucha just, like, pumps up your stomach and just makes it, like, the best it can be for, like, your gut bacteria. That the, that if you're pumped up your stomach, then we find that um, the pepper burn, like, it won't last as long. Yeah. Are you done with your breakfast there? Uh, yeah. Looks like you're getting full. Yeah. So, let's, uh... Let's open the box then, okay? Okay. I think people, I think we kind of like read all the stuff there. Yeah. Just know if somebody gave us a <laughs> thumbs down, somebody doesn't like us. <laughs> all right. So, let's see what's in this box. Something that I think, oh, oh while you're opening this, I'll see it. Something that I think with like social media, like the internet now, is like people are so impatient. Like, sometimes I'll be watching, like, a video, and somebody will be like, oh, the people just try the sauce at, like, four minutes. I've seen it on, like, people, I've seen comments on multiple people's videos, and I'm just like, like, people are so impatient now because of the internet, I think. Just because everything is just, like, right there. To be honest, maybe I'm a little <laughs> impatient with things, but I think it's just, like, this, like, an ADD thing. Okay. But, like... Yeah, I think that's why I try to do, like, uh, a lot of our videos are, like, edited ones instead of, like, um, uh, instead of, like, live ones like this one, right? So, yeah. Can you fix the screen there so I can, oh, yeah. so I can see what's going on? Um, but, yeah, because there's, you know, there's videos of people that are, like, trying sauces and they're just, like... People, talking about whatever and but people are looking at cars about, go by and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but people are like impatient about everything. They're like, I ordered from Amazon yesterday. Why is it not here today? Yeah, and no, like, that's true for stuff sure. Stuff like that. Yeah. Or like, I, I ordered this thing from this person. Like, why haven't they made it like today? It's been an hour since I ordered it. Like, stuff like that. Just All about right. anything. So we got this box here. And this is going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be funny if it's not what we think, it's, but yeah. I think that it is. It says, yeah, because it doesn't really tell us. It says uh, that there's bottled sauce condiments. But it says it's coming from Texas, and that's what it said when you ordered it. Yeah, so I'm not sure because there's a few people that said they were sending stuff that I haven't got. Mark says um, you need a pepper knife, and then Jay says, or a box cutter. I think we have an X-Acto knife in the basement, but... I was just like, it's hard for me to do two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was trying to talk and open it up at the same time. All right. Let's see what's in here. Are you guys, are you guys excited? This is going to be awesome. Oh, it is what I thought it was going to be. All right. So, this is going to be crazy, you guys. This is going to be nuts. All right. I can't believe we actually got this. All right. You know what? Maybe I do need, maybe I do need a fancy knife. I don't know. This work pretty good too. They're, uh, I think they were created for cutting things, just like knives. Okay. Guys, ready for the big reveal here? Oh boy! <laughs> Look at this! Okay, ready? So this is what we just got here. We got Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. So what do you guys think about that? It's a hot sauce, but it is not for your mouth. It is for your butthole, right? Yeah. So, oh, what, 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 what do you, what do you have there? Time will tell, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys saw this video that's going around. It's on like Stevo's, uh, Stevo's YouTube channel. Yeah. But yeah, he decided to come out with a hot sauce called uh, Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. 
And the video is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like total Steve-O style. It's like Steve-O stuff, right? Like, like jackass. Yeah. So, yeah, like, if you watch the video, uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> and if you, like, care, um, then I'm gonna spoil it. But, uh, he actually puts the hot sauce on his butthole. Yeah. And then, and then in his yeah. butthole. But he tries it out first and says it's pretty tasty sauce. Yeah. So, it's, um, uh, somebody asked for peppers. It's habaneros, right? Um, yeah. So, ingredients, it's, uh, water, ground habanero pepper, carrot, cane, <laughs> cane vinegar, salt, onion, garlic, lime juice, uh, oh, naga jalokia pepper. So that's like, uh, it's like a type of ghost pepper, right? Um, something, acetic acid? Acid. Acetic acid? Oh. Acetic. 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 Vinegar. Okay. It's just got a bunch of vinegar. Oh, it's just more, okay, it's just more vinegar. Uh, xanthine gallium azorb- as, ahem, <clears throat> uh, ascor- ascorbic acid? And, uh, citric acid. So, I don't know, it's got a bunch of things you can't pronounce, so it's Those like- they are all vinegars. They're all vinegars? Yeah. But I was pretty sure on the video that- if you watch the video carefully, it looks like it's from, uh, like, Arazu, mm. which, um, I haven't tried their sauces. We have one of them unopened. Yeah. Uh, Holy Trinity. That's, like, uh, one I know a lot of people have said are good. It's, like, I think it was, uh, I think Johnny Scoville and, like, Bill Moore both said that, that, uh, un I think it's Unholy Trinity. Yeah. Is, like, uh, one of their faves, so. Okay. But. This one has a lot of seeds. Oh yeah, you can see the seeds in it. Yeah, so it's not gonna be too hot of a sauce, but it might be a hot sauce for your butthole. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I have not tried hot sauce in my butthole before. Have you tried hot sauce in your butthole? No. No, I don't think it's, I don't think, have any of you guys tried uh, hot sauce in your butthole? I don't know very many people personally who've, who've tried hot sauce in their butthole. So, I don't know. We're gonna do a review video of this. Um, we're planning on putting it out on Wednesday. Yeah. As long as everything goes well and we can get it filmed and edited and everything. Um, he went away and said, do not put that in your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's for your butt. <laughs> oh, and then Mark says, um, so it's like vinegar-based butt sauce. Yes, aloe vera. <laughs> we do have some aloe vera juice in the fridge. Oh, do we? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, in the video, uh, after uh, <laughs> injecting the hot sauce into his butthole and then having a, a full-on craft yeah. on his like porch, <laughs> Steve-O uh, jumps in to a tub. I think he's got a cowboy hat on too. Yeah. And just uh, washes his butthole out of it and that was enough for him. Um, but yeah, we should have some uh, some sort of uh, something on standby, I guess, right? Oh, you, yeah, you should watch the video because oh, Dr. Drew's in it. He 101 says people yeah. have died from butt chugging, oh, from butt chugging vodka. Vodka, because of the alcohol. Just saying. There is no, what does he say? There's, There's no, no filter in your rectum. And it could hurt you. Yeah, like in the, yeah, well, say what you're saying. Yeah, so Dr. Drew is in the video, which is hilarious because Dr. Drew, he is a doctor, but he's like an addictions like specialist. Yeah. And then what does Dr. Drew say? You can, Dr. Drew's like... He said you can get bronchitis. He's <laughs> like, yeah, you'll probably get bronchitis. I think it was just like the first thing that came to his mind. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Well, he's like, he's like, isn't he like a, like a sex therapist too? He, I think he's a sex therapist, but he's also like an addiction specialist. Oh, because he was because on that other show, right? The... He, he had some like Dr. Drew's like, like reality show where like celebrities would go and he would yeah. like clean them up. Was Steve-O on that show? That's, so I'm wondering oh. if Steve-O was on it and that's how he like knows of Dr. Drew. Yeah. Uh, Mark says people have wanted to die. After putting hot sauce in her bottle. Oh, probably. probably. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing, too. I don't know. I've talked about this on our channel before, but uh, I'll talk about it again. Like, the question I get, like, 
asked the most by people who are like new to the channel and stuff and watch like videos meeting hot peppers yeah. is they're always like oh how was your butthole the next day like how yeah. how are your yeah. craps you know what i mean like everybody wants to know how my how my poops are for some reason after doing you know after eating 30 ghost pep or 30 yeah 30 peppers or whatever yeah. right but the thing is like at like for my entire life i've like i don't I don't get a burning butthole, like no matter what, like, no, like I've had like this may, like to be totally honest, I've had maybe just like the slightest tingle, but I've never had anything where I was like in pain from like, um, from like hot poops. I do get the, uh, I do get the phenomenon called the fire hose though, which is where, uh, you get heat coming out of your penis. Um, <laughs> can't believe I just said penis. It's so funny. But uh, coming out of coming out of your wang when you're you know pissing after the stuff, right? So uh, yeah, I don't know if maybe that's just I've heard other people like get like the fire hose, right? Like any of you guys get uh, any of you gentlemen get a fire hose after having a bunch of hot stuff? I don't really get like the female equivalent of a fire hose. I don't yeah. know what it would be called. What would you call that? We have to think of a cool name for the female equivalent. I don't really get that, but I do get like a burning butt sometimes. But like something that helps, I think, is like we have a bidet. So yeah. um, you're not Which is like. awesome. If yeah. you don't have a bidet, you're not wiping you're not, your ass properly. You're not living life to your fullest. Yeah, you're not living your best life. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like with the bidet, so you could use cold water if you needed to, yeah. but also like you're not wiping a ton. So it's just like so much easier. Yeah, E101 says he doesn't get uh he doesn't get fire butt. But Jay's Very wife gets fire hose. She gets fire hose. Until I heard fire hose, because that's hilarious calling it that. I just called it the hot peas. Yeah. Right? Remember I, I, when I think you... it was I think it was I think it was Dustin Johnson actually that said um Okay. That, <laughs> that I first heard say fire hose. That was hilarious. I remember when you did one of your like events at the brewing co-op and people were like asking me all these questions and then they're like, Oh like how is this poop connected? Like even strangers will ask and huh? I was like Oh, they're fine, but like he gets the what he calls the hot peas, and then they're just like, oh, like what? Like they're just like baffled by. Because like people like, I don't know. It seems like a lot of people who like aren't like really into hot sauce stuff don't know, don't like have never heard of that before, right? Yeah, well, and I mean, if you if you don't know anything about hot sauce, or just like the first time you've heard of it, like a hot pea. Like, you need to go to the doctor because if you have an STI. That's, like, what people think yeah. of, like, burning peas, I think. I think so. So then they're just like, oh, my God, like, like what's going on in your stomach? Like, but it's not even, like, you know, like, they say, like, you know, like, I just, I just fall and cut up a pepper there with no gloves on, right? And my hand's like, oh, what if I go to the bathroom later and oh, yeah. touch my wang and then it starts burning? Like, it's, it's not even like that, like... No. It's just like, it feels like it's coming from within. Like, it's like, like, like I don't feel it on my shaft that I'm touching, right? I feel yeah. like on my, like, pee hole. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, this is an awesome conversation, uh, so. <laughs> maybe Roman is, like, secretly uh, Jordan. <laughs> so, our brother-in-law, Jordan, he's always just like... Like, oh yeah, I always talk about poop. Like, I guess because we're just like so open about like stuff like that. But Roman's like always talking poop. <laughs> always talking poop, yeah. Get, what's that? Oh yeah, I get ghostwriter, ghostwriter per? I don't know what I, I don't know. What to... Ghostwriter P? I'm not sure. Maybe that's what he thought. I like about. what, uh, what he want to want? I assume it's uh, Brandon is saying. Uh, yeah. Call, call it flower fire for the ladies. What is that picture? Is that like a starfish or something? I think it's, it's a flower. Sorry, there's. Oh, like, it's a flower. There's this fly here, and it was like, it fell on its. Be that weird. Yeah. All right, who else here? We got like nine people watching. Whoa, it's like big for us. <laughs> Working bulldogs. How's it going? Um, alright, so is that all the, like, um, excrement talk for right now, or? I think so. So anyway, yeah, 
I've actually been getting into Steve-O's uh, YouTube channel. Me He's too. got some like pretty cool stuff on there. I watched a bunch yesterday. Did you see the staff infection one? No. Okay. I saw one where it was like tattoos that he regrets the most. Oh, it's Lisa. Oh yeah, it's Lisa. Yeah, yeah. I thought I recognized that name, so how's it going, Lisa? Thanks for watching. Uh, if you missed it, we just got this uh, crazy uh, <laughs> Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. Uh, so, yeah, not gonna not gonna spoil anything, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna try it out. See how it goes. I need to say one more thing about buttholes. <laughs> okay, if you haven't seen, I talk about Master of None in every video because it is the most amazing show. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it because Aziz's dad plays his dad in the show and he is a gastro doctor in oh, the yeah. show. And there's this, there is a scene where his dad shows like all the things that he's taken out of people's like buttholes. And the way that his dad says butthole is like my favorite part of the day when I hear him say it. It's so awesome. Oh, I didn't know Lisa had a, she has a dog training channel. That's cool. What sauce is this? Oh, yeah, we kind of just said, but yeah, yeah. it's, it's Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. Um, yeah, it's Steve-O from Jackass, you know that guy? So, yeah, he's got a uh, YouTube channel now. Yeah. Um, well, he's had it for a while, I guess. He also but, yeah, doing like a tour. Oh yeah, he's doing like a tour or yeah. whatever. But yeah, he's got a, uh, a new hot sauce, hot sauce for your butthole. In his video, he uh, samples the hot sauce, and then he puts the hot sauce on his butthole. <laughs> And then he puts the hot sauce in his butthole with the turkey baster. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it out, see how it goes. So yeah, I always wondered if the fire hose affects the ladies after adult time. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm trying to keep it PG. So. Trying to keep it PG. Sometimes you have to work your meals <laughs> around a fun time. Yeah. And you have to wear gloves when you cut peppers. Yeah, I have, you know, as you guys have seen, I have a habit of cutting peppers without putting any gloves on, and I touch them and stuff and sprinkle them on my food. And if that happens, then the doors are <laughs> shut, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember to wear, to wear gloves if I... You know, if it's, yeah. I can see Beavis and Butthead also, like, doing this. I'm surprised they haven't, like, rebooted Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, they totally should. They should bring Beavis and Butthead back. Yeah. I used to love that show. I had a, uh, I had a, uh, VHS tape that, um, I just taped, like, marathons of Beavis and Butthead off of MTV, and then I would <laughs> just watch them later. Like, I watched Beavis and Butthead so much. Okay. I think we had, like, a box set of it or something. Lisa says OMG, so yeah. <laughs> uh, Jay Fern Fernstein knows exactly <laughs> what I mean, so. Alright, so we got the time. We've got like 13 minutes before Jamie's gotta go to work. Hunka hunka burn in love. That's <laughs> right. It, it is burn in love, uh, yeah. I don't really I don't really mind. I don't really mind a little a little spicy, <laughs> spicy tingle down there, but like, I uh, just don't want it to get like too crazy, I guess, right? But, I don't know. But anyway, okay, so, this was pretty exciting, this uh, hot sauce for your butthole here, but, got some more exciting news that we're going to share. So, I actually just found out last night pretty late last night. It's confirmed. Uh, I'd say, is anything 100%? I'd say we're 100% doing this, or maybe we're 99% because, you know, there's a chance of air, something, we yeah. could, we could, we could die. We could die in an or hour. Or like, you have to like book things for it. You gotta book things for it. But anyway, uh, sorry, I'm just reading some of the messages here. So anyway, okay, let's just, let's just spill the beans here. So, uh, we're actually going to go next weekend to Fort Mills, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and I'm going to represent Canada in an international chili chomping eating event hosted by the man, 
pepper. And I'm going to go against some like steep competition from around the way. I'm really excited for this. This is, it's crazy. So there's going to be some like crazy, no, all of them or most of them. So we got, uh, obviously the man himself, Johnny Strecka is going to be there. So he's probably, you know, uh, he's probably like the most famous chili head right now, right? Uh, on YouTube and Facebook anyway. So yeah. So that's awesome. I'll get to meet him. I've never met him. You've never met him. No. We were hoping he was going to be in Chicago, but he couldn't make it. So, and uh, there's also going to be uh, Brianna Skinner, who is the chili queen, not the UK chili queen, but the OG chili queen. So that's awesome. Cause yeah, I've been a fan of hers for like, for like a while. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, when I started the channel and I saw her eating the, uh, you know, she ate like 23 Carolina Reapers at that uh, like Sydney, um, like chili festival or whatever it's called. And I was like, man, that is like insane. Like that, like I couldn't even imagine doing that. And then a while later I ate 30, <laughs> but still that is nuts. Um, so yeah, it's going to be awesome meeting her. Um, Cause I've never, we've never met her before. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know if it's her first time in the U.S. Maybe that's maybe, yeah. that's wild. So that's cool. So those are like two like legends, obviously. And then also uh, Dustin Johnson is going to be there. The Atomic Menace. He's got the coolest nickname. Having a have, having a name Johnny Scoville. Like obviously uh, that's not his real name. That's a made up name. That's a pretty cool name. But Atomic Menace. That is. Just an intimidating name. I love it. It's like a pretty cool name. I don't have a nickname, so if you guys... I don't want to give myself a nickname, because I think that's weird, but if you guys think of a cool nickname, let me know. If it's lame, I'm not going to use it, but if you think of a cool one, maybe I will, right? What do you think? You think I should have a nickname? I don't know. Like, you should I just be like... You before, and I was like, I don't know. Do like, should I just be like, Mike Hot Reviews Jack? Like, that doesn't sound like... that. Do, that's not an intimidating chili name. No. It doesn't sound like I'm the best. Like, you're, if you're the chili queen, then obviously, like, the queen is like, you know, you're powerful. Right? Or like, Johnny Scoville. I don't know. I don't... I guess it's not really intimidating, but it's just like, it's just a cool name, I guess, right? I guess, like, I guess I, I've never, like, had a nickname. I've never, like, given nicknames to people. I just, I guess I don't really, like, understand nicknames. So when you asked me before, I was just like, I don't know. Yeah. Roman says he missed, oh, when is it? He it's missed like it. Saturday. So it's, yeah, it's this, yeah, like, obviously not today, but the, this Saturday coming up. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and, like, Chili Sid's going to be there. Oh yeah, Chili Sid. If you guys know Chili Sid, um, Chili Sid is uh, from the UK, and uh, yeah, she was um, she was like six and zero oh in uh, chili eating competitions in the UK, and then uh, she got beat by UK Chili Queen like not really too long ago. Um, Johnny Scoville also got beat by UK Chili Queen not too long ago, but UK Chili Queen. It's not going to be there. Apparently, uh, she said they went with another competitor from the UK instead, which uh, is kind of confusing. Yeah, I guess you don't. Yeah, I guess like she we didn't don't say really to know. say she didn't say like much, so you don't really know the story. Yeah, so I don't really know. They also like seem to have forgotten about Canada. Yeah, they also. I guess they just exclude. They didn't really think about finding somebody in Canada, and I kind of. Uh, to be honest, I just I just put it out there saying, hey, you guys need a representative from Canada, and then um, yeah, I talked to uh, to uh, you guys know uh, Tom Petropoulos. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, who works with Ed Curry at Pucker Button now? I was talking to him, and then I talked very briefly with Ed Curry himself because yeah, he's a busy guy, I guess. But um, yeah. anyway, yeah. So yeah, he said I he said I could participate, so I'm I'm going there, but. Um, oh, Roman says he wants to go. Um, I think, I don't you know if they're go. like still looking for people to chomp the chilies. Yeah. But I think that you can like, that you can like 100% go and watch. Yeah, you can totally go and watch. I don't know, I don't know where you are, Roman, but if you're, uh, yeah, if you're in that area, if anybody's in, uh, 
South Carolina, they want to like say hi, just yeah. yeah, just come to the event and we'll like uh, we'll see you there, we'll talk and stuff. It's cool because we've never been to South Carolina. No, we went to North Carolina a couple of years ago in that, but we did, but we missed the South. So yeah, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, we're gonna uh, fly into Charlotte, yeah. North Carolina. So we haven't been to Charlotte. Yeah. Oh, he 101 was, uh, they were invited, but they can't go. That is too bad, he 101. Yeah. Like to, uh, like to chill with you guys some more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to, uh, see the, to see the other chili eaters there. Like, you know, some, uh, some people I admire and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Good to, uh, compete against them in that. Be warned, it's hot, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's something that I'm I'm a little worried about. Like we're in Canada, it's like it's we just had a heat wave and it was yeah. pretty hot, but I imagine it's way way hotter there. And I'm like I'm gonna be like sweating and dying from heat before I even eat these peppers because my body, my Canadian cold blooded body, is not used to. I might I might melt before I even get on the stage. That's like how like. I'm prepared for the heat I am, so. But it's also, I think, like, really humid there. Where yeah. it's, like, it is humid here sometimes, but I think there it's, like, humid, like, almost all summer. Humidity kills. You guys can just come over and have a sleepover. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, though, you guys can. Oh, I'm down for a sleepover yeah. for a slumber party. We can have a pillow <laughs> fight, right? <laughs> and, like, fill the that <laughs> Yeah. We want to go to Cleveland sometime. It's like not yeah. very far from here. And like, I don't think, I don't remember ever going to Cleveland. Um, there's like some fun things I like looked up a while yeah. ago, of like things to do in Cleveland. So yeah, we'll totally like have I to see, go there sometime. I want to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and then your uncle was saying there's a really good like art gallery there. Oh yeah, I think Bella posted about it a while ago too. I think a little ways away from like Cleveland, there's, um, like an old penitentiary that's like that they do tours in now yeah which or i think it was a penitentiary or a, might have been a psych hospital but i think a jail for sure to be totally honest we haven't told he 101 this but we were thinking oh, yeah. there was there was a long weekend not that long ago that we were thinking like a long weekend for canadians anyway, yeah that we were thinking about uh, going to Cleveland and we were gonna like see what you guys were up to in that. Yeah. But then we found out the Chicago Hot Sauce Expo was that weekend, so we went there instead. Yeah. So sorry guys. We thought you guys were gonna go there too at the time. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's, that's kinda like why we decided to go to Chicago too, because we were like, well, like we were thinking about going to Cleveland, so I mean yeah. Cleveland is a little bit closer, but And like we were we were um yeah, we were thinking that Chicago Expo was going to be our last uh, little adventure for yeah. a while because we got some stuff coming up that it's going to cost a bit of money. But I was just like, I was just really disappointed that I wanted to do that Carolina Reaper thing in Chicago so bad and it got rained out. And so, yeah, we were really struggled with if we were going to go to South Carolina, but we figured we're going we're gonna to make it work and we're going to go there. And we're gonna have fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's uh, there's hot sauce jokey Tim. What's up? You missed all the all the news and everything, and us talking about the stuff. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, we won't catch up because everybody else is here. So you'll figure it out. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna say like yeah, like it's like it's like stiff competition at mm -hmm. this thing. So. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna be cocky. I'm not gonna guarantee a win or anything, obviously. I'm just, uh, I think it's, it's just like an honor just to like be there and just to like meet these people and like, uh, yeah, like there's the four people I mentioned myself, so there's five of us. I think there's still like three spots, uh, three spots available as far as I know. Um, looking for people, I guess, yeah. but maybe nobody else wants to like, compete against some of the like greatest uh greatest chili heads in the world i don't know has anybody else anybody watching this heard about this event or know anybody else who's who's going 
like they were talking about it on Facebook in the for love of hot sauce, yeah. and that's how I heard about the like four people that were uh, that were going. So, but um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, if I was, I don't bet or anything. I don't like. I don't know. But if I was a betting man, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm honestly gonna put my money on Dustin. I think, because <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen like Dustin the, the Atomic Menace, but. Uh, yeah, he's got a high tolerance for heat. This, um, I'm not, uh, like, they're keeping everything really secret about this, uh, yeah. event, too. So they're not really saying, like, what, it, like, what peppers we're gonna be eating, or, like, how exactly it's structured. But, like, from what I've seen, or what, uh, like, Tom and, and Ed have said, um, there's gonna be ten rounds, and there's not gonna be any, any speed round. There's not going to be any, uh, like, tiebreaker. And Ed has said that he doesn't think anybody is going to make it to 10 rounds, which is crazy because, you know, like, Johnny Scoville just went to 10 rounds. Like, yeah. they went into, they finished 10 rounds. And uh, that seemed like a pretty crazy competition. Like, they were eating, like, uh, some pretty spicy stuff, and they were going, like, two or three peppers, like, around. Yeah. Stuff like that. When I talked to Tom, he said he wasn't he wasn't exactly sure, but he said that um, he, fig he he thinks they're gonna do like two peppers each round. Okay. So, um, and they've said that it's gonna like they're gonna go up in heat. Yeah. So I don't know like how it's gonna go down because, in like just like from the information that I have, in my opinion, like there's gonna be like a lot of people who are gonna go to like ten rounds. Like these are some of the these are like the best. Yeah. Uh, chili, like, so, like most of the best chili eaters, eat the uh, chili eaters in the world, and yeah, like they, like, like people have gone ten. It's like chili Sid's gone ten rounds. Like how many times? You know what I mean? So it's funny, um, because at the beginning of the video, I was talking about underrated actors. Yeah. And I think that you and Destin are like totally like underrated. I think. Well, I think so too. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think I'm like probably the most underrated. Chili head out there. I don't know. Like people, I don't well, know. Considering like, you see, you've like, done like two Guinnesses. Yeah, like considering I've broken two Guinness records, I've eaten thirty Carolina Reapers. I only know one other person who has eaten more than thirty Carolina Reapers, and they're not uh, going to this thing as far as I know. And Jay and, says the same thing that you wondered. He says unless Ed Curry brings a new pepper, could be an unveiling. That, yeah. You did say that this morning. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, um, but uh, Brennan says, nope, not an unveil. Yeah, so, because I said the same thing. I said, I don't think so. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, because Ed Curry has said, like, he's got a whole bunch of peppers in his back pocket that are that are hotter than the Carolina Reaper, but he just hasn't released them yet. He's waiting for somebody to beat his Guinness record so he can beat it back or whatever, yeah. right? So I was like, maybe the first round is two Reapers, and then it goes up from there. Maybe there's Pepper X, maybe there's Chocolate Reapers, or I don't know, maybe there's whatever. But, yeah, like Brandon's saying, no, not an unveil. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking, it might not, because Ed Curry is, like, really cautious, too. Like, he doesn't want anybody getting his seeds, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Brandon says speed is not Johnny's, Johnny's game. It definitely definitely isn't like um but ed curry has said it's not a speed thing it's not going to go to a speed round which uh to be honest like if there was a speed round that would be more my yeah, thing yeah 100 like because i think like i could i could last like 10 rounds on like any any pepper competition i've seen and then when it comes to speed like that's what i've been practicing for like um, you know, I'm still not the best speed eater, but I've been practicing it for like almost, almost a year now. And so, you know, I've got those, I got the Guinness records to prove it that I'm like, yeah. that I'm like pretty quick in the speed eating. So I think, I don't know, if it went to speed eating, I think I'd have a better chance, but yeah, like, yeah, like, I think people are agreeing, like Dustin is, uh, he's got some crazy tolerance. I don't know. Like, I think stopped right. from it being too yeah. hot in his mouth. His, yeah. His stomach would be full. Yeah, and then um, Hot Sauce Junkie Tim says that Roger, too. Yeah, Roger, I think, is underrated as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Roger's crazy. That, um, the one where he, 
was it? A, it was ramen, right? Yeah. When he had the ramen and he put like the whole thing of like plutonium on it. And that, then and, pictures, and then and then yeah. like all this stuff like that was crazy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys need to check a uh, uh, hot damn show. Yeah. Uh, with Roger Tier, he is uh, he's nuts. Cause like I know that people you know. Like Johnny Scoville has done uh, pluton like drink drank the plutonium like twice, and people think that that's crazy. But I think it's a lot harder what Roger did because, like, once you put it in, once you put this stuff in your mouth and you swish around, swallow it, then it's done, and then you're gonna like it's gonna mess you up like after, but it's done. You don't have to do any more. But what he did is he's going, he's taking forkfuls of this. It's messing him up really bad. And he's going back for more. And that yeah. is what's, like, that's the difference. Like, some people, you know, like, it's, I guess it is impressive when people, like, down, like, a thing of extract or, like, down, yeah. like, hot sauces and stuff like that. But it's way different than eating peppers. Because when you're eating peppers, you have to, like, you get messed up in your head. And you get messed up. Yeah. Like, your body is messed. And then your brain is telling you, this is bad, don't do this. But you were ha you go back for another one, and that is very is that's that's the challenge. I think that is way harder than just taking the hottest sauce you can find and just and just drinking it. Yeah, it's like when we like last weekend, um, Lisa gave us um, powders. So yeah. I put some ghost powder in our spaghetti, and then I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is so hot because because you're just because I find spaghetti the heart like the hardest thing to eat with a lot of hot sauce because it's just like every bite is the same. Whereas if you put it on like pizza or something, um, you're putting it in like blobs, so maybe, maybe one bite you take doesn't have it. That's that's my theory on it. Yeah. Yeah, Roman's saying here, uh, like in the in the UK Chili Queen, uh, Johnny Scoville thing, like, um, like she had the advantage, she took smaller pieces and then once it got to the speed round, she had it. And that's, uh, you know, I called that before it happened, like, I don't know, like, if you, I've watched a lot of UK Chili Queen stuff, and she is, like, amazing, like, she is, like, at those competitions, she is definitely the best, like, there's no, right. there's no doubt, like, she, like, she's 63 and 0 now, like, she's the best, uh, at the chili eating competitions, she is definitely the best, like, there's no, yeah. there's nobody that can be here, because she can last the, she can last the, like, 10 rounds, and then she's the fastest. Mm -hmm. So, so she has two, she has two, those two advantages. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, you know, a lot of people can make it those 10 rounds. Like, Dustin can make it the 10 rounds. I, I could think I could make it the 10 rounds. Um, Roger can make it the 10 rounds. Like, Julie said, can make it the 10 rounds. I don't Johnny, know. Well, Johnny Scoville. Johnny Scoville. Scoville. The 10 rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, all those guys can make it the 10 rounds. But then it gets to, then it, the tiebreaker is the speed. And Julie Queen's, like faster than all those people, except for maybe me, but I don't know, I, I, we'll have to see. So, um, extract is the worst, no extract, yeah, no extract, all natural, I don't know, I, I like extract sometimes, to be honest, but, uh, just make things hotter, but, you know, um, yeah, like, drinking a whole thing of extract, I don't, like, I guess I would do that, just for, just to see if I could, but I would, it's not uh, something I would look forward to. It's not like a tasty snack, I guess. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess we kind of got to wrap it up. We got to yeah. get to work or whatever. But, I don't know. Anybody else have anything else to say about anything we did here? We had some. So, we had some. If you missed it, we had some spicy oatmeal here. I put a pepper in the oatmeal and ate it with some, uh, with some hot sauce from Arthur Wayne. Jamie had some oatmeal with the uh, Dawson's chocolate chili sauce, which is delicious, but not very hot. We opened a box of Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. Uh, if anybody has anything else, uh, you missed that. And then, uh, yeah, we talked about how I'm going to this uh, chili eating thing on the weekend. Or like, uh, if people are interested in talking about uh, Johnny Scoville, UK Chili Queen. Um, just wait. Hot Sauce Junkie Kim says, did you see his 2K celebration? Did you see it? 
No. I watched it. Did you? But you? So you can watch it today. It's hard sometimes for like you to, not to make excuses. Yeah. But it's hard for Mike to watch stuff because it's really weird. He, where he works, um, is very like private. Like you're not even allowed to take your phone into the building. Yeah. So then, um, so then you only have like your break. So you have like two breaks. But um, you've gone over your data a couple times that like, he can't watch like movies on his breaks anymore. Yeah, and then when I'm at home, like you know, I should make excuses, but I'm like editing a lot and making videos myself. So, so you can I watch. I see a lot of people. I I was watching some uh, hot sauce chunky Tim's videos the other day, but yeah, I don't. Have, I need to watch some more. You can watch it today. But um, like I watched some of his videos. What did he What did he do in the two K one? Ask him. If he what did you do in the two K one, Tim? Like, can you give me a hint? I don't think I don't think I watched it though. Oh yeah, I I still have like PTSD from that chocolate bar. Your homemade chocolate bar. Oh yeah. Like my half's still in the freezer. Oh, I'm Tim thinks that's the greatest it. show we made. It was, yeah, it was fun making it anyway. There's uh, I don't know. I guess there's ones, I guess there's ones that I like more. One of my favorite videos that we made that doesn't have a lot of views is the one where we. We played that game with the like, oh, it spins around your head. Yeah, Chow Crown. So like, if you haven't seen that one, it's a, uh, yeah, there's this game, like Hasbro game called Chow Crown. And what you do is you, uh, you put this thing on your head. Well, I guess before you put it on your head, there's these little forks you put like, you put food on it, right? Like, and uh, on the box it has a person putting like, a strawberry, like strawberries and banana pieces yeah. and stuff like that on a thing. You put it on your head. And then it plays music and it spins it spins around and while it spins around you have to try to like bite the stuff off the forks. And we did it with hot peppers. And uh, I I thought it was like super fun. And uh, it was crazy. I haven't seen anybody else do that challenge and yeah. It's we, like we put it out there saying other people do this challenge and nobody did. It's so, like a game that you like don't wanna win really. Yeah. Well <laughs> Because I cracked so I did it with bananas, and I ate like I think like every piece of banana. But it's because the banana is like so soft and it's just like easy to grab onto that I was like super scared. But I didn't get very many peppers. I also think like it wasn't adjusted like properly. Yeah, head, it wasn't. But... Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't set it up properly for JJ. So she was at a disadvantage, so I kicked her ass. But uh, <laughs> anyway. He, uh, Brandon says that he likes the Chow Crown video, he likes the thumbnail. Yeah, I thought oh, it was a cool thumbnail. I, I and you're did. like, you're like, trying to like reach for the one in the thumbnail, like... I was like, why do you think that? That's like <laughs> the worst picture. It was a very flattering picture, but <laughs> it, it was funny though. Jamie, uh, she got so mad at the Chow Crown that she like, she was just like yelling at it. She's like, hey, hey! Just like... <laughs> Because it goes around and you're just like almost get it, but then like you, it's hard to pull it off. Yeah. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Because you think like, oh, it would just be so easy, but it's harder. We actually kind of got the idea from watching Heat 101 do that, um, that mouth guard game. Oh yeah, because we, yeah, we borrowed the game from my brother. Yeah. And then I was with, um, some of my old work friends and they were like, oh yeah, I got this game like for my kids. We're going to play on like Christmas Eve. And I was like... Oh, that sounds like a really good idea. And then I came home and told you, and then we went to Toys R Us yeah. and like bought it that day. It was cheap too. Like, wasn't yeah. it like fifteen bucks or something? Yeah, like ten to fifteen. Yeah, ten to fifteen Canadian dollars. So yeah. pretty much like two bucks American, right? Yeah. Well, not that. But, but I really remember like when we were coming back from Jungle Gyms, and I thought I had like the best idea. And I was like, what if we play like board games with hot sauce? And you're like, it's been done already. But yeah. I, I didn't know because I, because back then I didn't watch any videos. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, like I thought I had like the greatest idea ever. Did, um, did Tim say what he did in this 2K video? Did we miss that? Yeah, right here. Death Net Challenge 2.0, Two Boat Terror, Cully's. Uh, noodles and then the local hot oh, eggs, you did all that stuff? on a stick. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like yeah, a lot of those yeah, a lot of those challenges I have like trouble with. Just but well, just cause like uh, like I, I want to do some of those ones. Like Tube of Terror I haven't done yet, but it's just like it's just like expensive and it's expensive to ship to Canada and. 
I think to make it impressive, like I gotta eat like a bun. Like I think if I do one, like people will be like, oh yeah, like I've seen so many videos of people who've done this. But like I need to eat like, I don't know, if I try to like do a record, like eat like, like I think Dustin did six of them. I think that's the most I've seen. So if I did seven, they're like 20 bucks each US, it's 140 bucks. And then shipping is gonna be like, probably like 50 bucks. So it's yeah. gonna cost me like a couple hundred bucks to do a challenge. And yeah, but okay. yeah, and the, what was the other, what was the first one? I said, oh yeah, Death Nuts Challenge too. Like, yeah, I'd like to. Um, a maybe lot a little the, one day. But. And then a lot of the chocolate ones, um, they like aren't vegan. They have milk or something in them. That's why, yeah. we, that's why we like made our own chocolate. Yeah. Um, but um, my gringo, they have a chocolate bar that's vegan that I want to try. Sorry, who? Mad Gringo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to try that one. Um, also, okay, so Frank says the guy on the right, which would be you, I think, is reminding me, how can I politely suggest that my girlfriend shave her chest hair? Um, and then he says, but how could I suggest that she use it even if I bought it for her? Okay, so wait, I'm confused. You want her to shave her chest hair or you want her to shave your chest hair? I mean, how can I politely suggest that my girlfriend shave her chest hair? I don't know, like, I don't know. We don't, uh, So if yeah, you like, want her, so you want her to shave her chest hair? Yeah, that's kind of a confusing question. Like, I don't know, like, does it really, like, Bug you that much? I'm a firm believer you, of you don't tell women what to do with yeah. their body. If you, had chest, if you had chest hair, I'd still be alright with it. I still love you. Well, so here's the thing. I don't really care. I don't shave my armpits. I used to shave my armpits and I would get mad rashes. Yeah. And they would be itchy and I would have ingrown hairs and it was terrible. And it will be two years in September that I was like, no more. I'm not shaving my armpits for society to like tell me what to do with my body. So I did. And um, so you, so they'll like, they're a little bit long. I don't know if you can see. You shave them at the beginning of July. So like you <laughs> shave them with like your trimmer. I, I gave her a little trim. Yeah. And I keep, and I keep them at like, I don't fully, I, you shave them at a number one. And to be honest, having like armpit hair is like so empowering. It's there for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be honest. Sometimes I don't wear deodorant. So I don't wear deodorant and my armpits like they don't smell. And it's totally because of the armpit hair. The thing is, too, right? Like, women didn't shave their armpits until, like, the 1950s. Yeah. So and the relatively, legs. Yeah. So, relatively speaking, that's not really that long ago. No. And they started shaving because um, the, like, razor companies were only selling to men. And they're missing out on half the market. Yeah. So, it's because of advertising. Because of, uh, basically, propaganda on your televisions made society think that hair on women was gross. Yeah. So it's like, it's literally like just uh, media mind washing people. So, you know, it's like something that, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's like part of culture now, which is unfortunate. There's like a, you know, there is kind of like, you know, people like us that are just like, this is ridiculous. Like, yeah. why does it even matter? Like, what is it? Like, why does it matter if, like, women have, like, hair on their legs even? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. You grow you grow it for a reason, too. Like, you grow yeah. it so that, you know, like, your... You said, like, your armpits are way more, like, dry now, right? Like, there's nothing... Like, yeah. Like, they're so, there to, like, catch, like, your yeah. sweat and stuff. So. Yeah. It's there to get your sweat. Um, I would get, like, I would get huge red bumps and rashes. And I would have... I have scars down here from having ingrown hairs. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like um, the other day I didn't wear deodorant in the summertime and my armpits like did not stink. Yeah. Um, also like you loved Freely the Banana Girl when she, when she talked about her raw food style. I love yeah. Freely the Banana Girl now because she's so much about empowering women's like natural bodies. So she doesn't shave like anything. Yeah. Um, she's just like there to just like be the woman that's like out there. You ha I don't know. I don't care what society thinks. I think that society is wrong on a lot of things. And I think society yeah. is controlled by Gillette 
or controlled by this company. You don't want major corporations telling you what to do. Yeah. And with, playing, playing with your mind and telling yeah. you, like, you know, it's this, it's crazy stuff that people, like, don't really think about. You just yeah. go with, go with whatever everybody else thinks, and then you're, like, pleasing other people instead of just yeah. doing what's right for you, so. Like, honestly, I feel, like, super empowered by having, like, my armpit hair. And I've heard plenty of, like, other people, like, say that. Um, I guess armpit hair is kind of becoming, like, big right now. There's, like, like Halsey. She's, like, yeah. super, like, an empowering woman. Um, like, super positive about, like, not telling women what to do with their bodies, um, about, like, sexual abuse and um, consent and stuff like that. And she was on a magazine cover with, like, probably, like, a week or two yeah. worth of stubble. And it was... And Miley Cyrus is, like, another good example. Yeah. So I know you guys know Miley Cyrus. Uh, if you don't know Halsey, pop singers, pretty yeah. pretty big in pop for, like, maybe a year or so now. Freely the Banana Girl, if you don't know who that is, she's, like, a pretty big YouTuber for, like, for like years now. She's, like, kind of old school yeah. YouTuber who uh, has really evolved. And now she basically seems like she just lives in like nature and is, yeah. na is naked a lot. She's like know. pretty hardcore. Um, yeah. Yeah, but she's definitely like, like empowers women to like be their authentic self. Um, Roman's calling troll. <laughs> I think so, Roman. <laughs> um, if your armpits smell like yogurt, you might have some kind of like yeast infection. Um, so you should maybe get that checked out. Um, because I, 90% of the time, I use homemade deodorant that I make. Um, we're really big on like natural cruelty-free products. I don't want to put aluminum and like weird stuff in my armpits, near my lymph nodes, and near my breast tissue. So sometimes, um, sometimes like when we went to Chicago, I yeah. used like, I used natural like store brand deodorant, like Kiss My Face or yeah. Green Beaver and that. If you like clean shaven, it's personal choice. It's yeah. It's fine. Just do, yeah, just do, yeah. do what you want, um, but don't be like, I don't know, like some, there's like pressure on, you know, there's pressure on women to like, you know, keep their bodies yeah. shaven a certain way and like there's, that's, that's not cool, but if you like, if that's what you want to do, like, there's like pressure, ever, like, there's so nothing, much, there's so much pressure for women and like it's been out there for the whole time, but it's, but now we're just kind of starting yeah. to fight back. There's pressure for us to like, to shave, there's pressure for us to like have our hair done. Um, like I've heard so many curly girls say like, oh, they've been asked to like to um, straighten their hair. That's ridiculous. Their hair is curly. Just let it, just let them do what they want to yeah. do. Um, I'm letting my hair naturally go gray. Um, so we get like typecast for that. We're gonna mm. look old. Um, women should like should not be dressing like provocatively but then we should be like dressing to like please men's eyes um we should be like saying yeah. proper things like yeah okay 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 um yeah tim says uh either way it's a funny conversation <laughs> it kind of is I, you know it's like uh yeah you but say wait. you say stuff like that and Jamie gets triggered, which maybe, you know, she should No, be, right? I don't get triggered. I like to You're raise... Right. <laughs> I like... To, okay, I don't get triggered. I like to raise awareness. And yeah. I like this... And I like... And, and like, I want to be somebody that says, like, you don't have to do what society tells you. Yeah. And I like to, like, open conversations about about so many things. Like, like so many things... People, like, hide stuff about fertility stuff. I like to be out there in the open about that. I like to be in the open about everything that that, like we were taught you had to be secretive about. Yeah. I like, to, I want to be a trailblazer for that stuff. But I do love uh, men's chest hair. Yeah, she's one of the ones. <laughs> I found a good one. <laughs> uh, one that works for me, right? Yeah. So, she likes the chest hair. I'm a hairy dude. Yeah. So, yeah, it works. It works for us. We're a good yeah. couple. So, um, okay, so... You can let's... keep talking, but I'm gonna go. Okay, Jamie's gotta go yeah. to work. Okay, um, bye guys. Yeah, we'll probably wrap this up once people are done, I guess. But anyway, let's bring it back to <laughs> hot sauce and spiciness and things like that. So, yeah, Hot Sauce Junkie Tam, he's asking, you know, a question that, uh, that goes with the theme of our channel. It's not a political channel, uh, despite what we were just talking about. So, um, yeah, so Hot Sauce Junkie Tim says, what was the hardest challenge 
you have ever done. So I would say the hardest challenge I've done has got to be when I was trying to eat the most Carolina Reaper peppers ever eaten. So I think I had, I think I had like, I was just going to go until like, I just like couldn't go anymore. So I had like 60 peppers, I think it was. And I got to, I got to 30. Um, I almost stopped before 30, but I had uh, some people like, uh, like Jamie and uh, Drew and some people in the live audience there uh, pushed me forward. Uh, I think Jamie was yelling that if I don't get to 30 that I'm going to be really disappointed in myself. And maybe I, w I probably would have been, so um, she pushed me to 30. Um, but I was like, I was like wrecked. Like that's the most like messed up my mind has ever been from eating peppers or anything spicy. I just like, yeah, cheerleaders, exactly, Roman. So I couldn't, uh, I was like just out of my mind. I was right out of my mind. Um, and yeah, it's like hard to just like describe the feeling. Like I was just like, sometimes there's been a few challenges I've done where I've just been just like, it feels like I'm vibrating, like it just like I'm just shaking. Um, for like, like from just like the heat, from like the, um, you know, from the adrenaline, from the endorphins, from the stuff like that. Like I was like, I was like, it was like I was drunk. Like I was trying to talk to Jamie's mom after and I was like just slurring my words. I just had to like, I basically just, uh, if you watch the video, you can see, and I did an aftermath video of it too. I basically just like had to sit there and just like just like get my senses enough so I could like so I could walk again pretty much. So yeah, that was that was the craziest. Uh, um, yeah, that was that was the hardest challenge for sure. I like I like pushed my limits as far as I could. I think that if I tried it now though, because that was like um, that was back in September, and I truly think that I've like in like that I've increased my my tolerance and uh, stuff like that. I've got more practice like eating peppers, doing lots of other stuff. So I think that I could do, I think I could do more. I want to do another challenge pretty soon once I can get some, uh, some fresh peppers here. They're like uh, tough to get in Canada with the climate we have here and that. But I would like to try to do more. I think I'm, I don't know. I think I could push it to like 50. That's my, that's what I think. What do you think, JJ? You think I could do 50? 50 peppers? 50 reapers. Yeah. You think it did? Yeah, see, Jamie has faith in me, so like, I don't know. I'll try, I I'll like, try anyway. I feel like you were just stopping because um, because you were just like, well, I, I ate more than I wanted to. Yeah, I think that's true. But it's funny because... Um, I really wanted to get to 30, so I... But I got there. Because when you were practicing with the scorpions, and people were like, oh, make that girl eat them, make that girl eat them. Yeah. And I was just like, no, like, I have a hardcore gymnastics coach. <laughs> and you're like, why gymnastics? And I'm like, why not football? And I was like, I don't want to be a football coach. And I was like, I don't know, gymnastics is like the first thing I yeah. thought of. I probably should have said figure skating, but whatever. Yeah, sure. I hope you guys can hear what Jamie's saying over there. She's kind of like off screen there. See you later, E101. Thanks for thanks for stopping by, checking out our video, talking about our stuff, whatever. Um, yeah, again, like check out E101 if you haven't before, because they do some pretty cool stuff. They're cool people. Um, okay, bye for real. Okay, bye for real. Okay, so all right, now that she's gone, we can talk about the really good stuff. Um, no, I don't know. So, yeah, well, yeah, so I think that was the question. I think probably the second hardest challenge I did was the one that you were just talking about when I made the, uh, I made the chocolate bar with 30 Carolina Reaper peppers in it. So again, 30 Reapers. Um, because there was a Nemesis bar going around and I, I've kind of, I think I talked about it in our last live video, but I have like, um, I'm working on it, but I have like, I think I have jealousy issues. I just get jealous of things that people are doing. And people are doing the nemesis thing, and uh, I, I wasn't doing it because um, there's milk in it and I'm vegan and I'm like, I have strong beliefs about 
animal cruelty and stuff like that, and dairy is like not, uh, is like probably the most like inhumane industry that there is. Um, Cause it's like, you know, there's like vegetarians who don't want to eat animals cause they think it's cool. But in dairy, uh, the dairy industry um, pretty much just like breaks the animal down, like just mentally and physically for four years, and then they make it into food. Uh, they kill it anyway, so I think that's terrible. Like, um, in order for you to drink the milk of an animal, for you to drink the milk of a cow, uh, the cow has to be pregnant and has to like uh, give birth to a baby, and that baby is taken away and killed for veal uh, while the mother mourns the loss of its child. So yeah, it's 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 you're drinking the milk that is meant for um, a baby cow. But anyway, uh, like I said, we're not really a political channel, more of a spice channel. I don't know why I started going off on a rant. I probably shouldn't have. Sorry, guys. But anyway, yeah, the, like, uh, I was jealous. That's what I was getting at. So I was jealous about, because uh, I'll admit I have kind of jealousy issues I'm working on, and everybody's eating these Nemesis bars, and I don't want to be part of it. So yeah, I made, uh, I, I basically made my own version, like, as similar as I could get it without putting dairy in it. So, I made my own chocolate, I got, I had some reapers that, um, that I just like, uh, that I dried, that I dried myself in the oven, and I put, I crushed those reapers up, put them in the chocolate bar, and, uh, it was crazy hot, um, it was crazy, crazy hot. Uh, the, the thing, like, the worst thing about it though, too, was, um, what did I put in it that was... I was really like, I'm trying to remember what I put in it. Oh, there was a uh, cacao butter in it. And it just like, um, when I've eaten like a regular small chocolate bar with the cacao butter in it that I've made, it was like fine. But, um, uh, what was I saying? But like in eating like a uh, like half pound chocolate bar, it just got like really oily, like it felt like I was eating like just oil, like it felt like I was, uh, you know, just eating like, just like straight up canola oil or something like that. And it just was like, it was just gross. And I think that's why, uh, I think this was, I think that was the first video where I threw up like right away. I was like done the chocolate bar and if you watch the video, I'm literally like sitting there for a second and I'm like, I'm going to throw up and I run to the bathroom and hurl. all. Uh, that's never happened to me before. Um, I've thrown up after videos, but usually it's like, I don't know, like back in the day it was maybe like half an hour or 20 minutes, 40 minutes after. Um, like now I barely ever throw up and if I do it's like, it's like hours, it's been like hours after. Or like, um, like when I did the 30 Carolina Reapers, I threw up a couple hours later, but I like made myself throw up, so I don't know how long I would have held that in for. When I did the 30 ghost pepper challenge, I didn't throw up until, it was something crazy, like it was like like 14 hours later, like it was, I had like bad calf cramps like the whole night and then into the morning and then, yeah, it was like, I think it was early afternoon, I just, I started hurling, so. But anyway, what else are what else are people asking? This is awesome. The people are asking questions. Um, sometimes don't get enough questions. Um, let's see. Um, that's a chunky Tim. What do you do to prep? That's a good question. So. Um, the main, I guess, okay, so like the, the thing I started doing is uh, I actually got this from uh, Dustin Johnson, the Atomic Menace. We talked. He gave me some tips because uh, I heard him talking in a video about prep that he does just to like prep his stomach and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, because I don't have to, yeah, like don't have to like prep your mouth. Like it's just heat in your mouth, whatever. But just like, just like the cramps like suck. And um, I don't get cramps like too bad too often, but when I do like something like super crazy, like eat a whole bunch of peppers, then it sucks. So Dawson told me he like an hour and a half before he does like a crazy challenge, he'll eat like some, uh, you said like greasy fast food, 
and they said like 45 minutes before he does a challenge, he'll eat like a really thick peanut butter sandwich. And um, it makes sense. So he's just like, basically what he does, and what I started doing too, is you load your stomach up with like, with like fats. Cause like fats like don't, uh, like you don't digest them like very fast. So basically like, um, yeah, basically what you want to do is, uh, you don't want to have like an empty stomach. That's like the main thing. And if you eat like um, a bunch of like carbs and stuff like that, it's gonna like, it's your body digests that like really fast. So you want like kind of like fats, proteins, um, you want to eat those to get a full stomach. I guess I was like worried sometimes too that um, uh, that I'd get too full. So I thought like maybe I didn't eat enough because I was like, oh, I'm gonna like try to eat like maybe 60 peppers here. So you know, uh, I don't want to I don't want to be too full that I can't eat anymore. But I think that peppers like they're they're just not very filling at all. So you just put as much as like I kind of like just try to get full and then eat a bunch of peppers. And then I try to like, like sometimes after, like obviously after you eat a bunch of peppers, sometimes you feel kind of ill, uh, you don't want to eat, but I just kind of force myself to eat like maybe another peanut butter sandwich or so. So yeah, I usually just like make like a, make like a, a veggie burger and stuff, eat that like an hour and a half before, um, peanut butter sandwich. Um, and if I'm still like, uh, if I'm still not like, too full, I'll just like eat some nuts and yeah, then I'll do the challenge or whatever and then I'll try to like eat some more nuts or another peanut butter sandwich after. Um, Roman's uh, talking about eating bananas here. Oh, uh, Jay uh, Fernstein's talking about eating bananas as well. I used to do that. I think it, I think it helps a bit, but I think that, I think that um, eating the, um, yeah, I'm just like all about like the all about the nuts and peanut butter stuff right now. I think that's like helped me, helped me the most. Um, and then, uh, and then drinking a lot of water to try to like get things moving to get, try to get things flushed out. Like, um, like I was saying, I don't. Some people think it's crazy, but I, I, I've only like really made myself throw up the one time, and I don't know because you don't want to, you don't want to throw up too much because. Um, like that can like mess up your throat, just like throwing up like, just like your, the stomach acid and stuff like that, right? That's how like people, you know, there was that thing in the news about the guy who like burned a hole in his esophagus from like hot pepper, but eating hot peppers or whatever, but it probably was not from the peppers. It was probably because the person was like throwing up a lot and um, like bulimics, they have trouble with their like uh, throat and stuff like that too, just because of throwing up the like stomach acid. So I try not to throw up too much, just try to like let it all go through. And then like I was saying earlier in the video, I don't get uh I don't get burned butt, so I'm not really scared about that. So yeah, so I just let it Yeah, just let it go through. And some people think that's some people think that's crazy, but yeah, I uh, personally I just think that's like the best thing. Um Roman says, have I brushed, have I brushed my teeth yet? Um, I brushed my teeth this morning, if that's what you mean. Um, now I feel a little self-conscious. Con Maybe I should drink a little water. I'm not sure why you're asking that. Do my, do my lips look dry? Do my teeth look weird? I like ate some oatmeal after I brushed my teeth, I guess, but I do have, well, my teeth are all right now, but I used to have really weird teeth. I had like braces for like three years and then I have a retainer that's like a permanent one. And I had a uh, retainer you can take, uh, put in and out that I was supposed to um, sleep with for like my life, but I gave up on it um, after a few years. So I don't know. Anyway, okay. Is there any other questions? about spicy related things. Da 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 da, blah blah blah. Okay, Roman asked a little while ago, what do you have coming up for us? Well, that's, uh, yeah, what can I say? I try to keep some stuff like secret, but 
Well, I have this hot sauce, uh, Stevo, Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole I was talking about. We've got that coming up. Um, I'm going to try to release that on, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to release that on Wednesday, as long as we can film it okay, don't have any problems in editing it and everything. On Monday, because, I don't know if everybody here knows this, but I always put up a poll so people can pick a video that they want me to release on Mondays. So this week it was uh, Dragon's Blood Elixir is what people voted for. So that's coming out on Monday. So I tried a couple of their sauces they sent to me. Uh, one is called Scorpion Bowl, which um, I really enjoyed. It's like a like pineapple scorpion pepper sauce. And then uh, the other one is called uh, lemon ginger rhubarb, which is exactly how it sounds. It's, it's lemony, it's gingery, it's rhubarb -y. It's like not as not as hot, but uh, still really good. Jamie especially like loves it. Um, I'm really into that scorpion bowl one. They're like uh, got some really good sauces. We won't talk about it too much because you don't want to ruin the video that's coming out on Monday. Um, what else we got? We just like uh, we did a video where we tried like uh, six. Uh, sauces from Peplish Provision, um, which is like, they're like an amazing company out of New York. They've got some, uh, their sauces are like, not like melt your face off hot, but they're like fairly spicy and they are delicious, yummy sauces. Um, high in uh, like spices, not like, um, not like pepper spice, not like pepper spicy. It's got like enough for that. And, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, like spices, like, um, there's one that's like, um, you know, I'm not really, uh, I don't really know a whole lot about, like, spice, um, you know, like spice for, like, cooking with and stuff like that. Jamie knows quite a bit, so, yeah, it's cool that I got her doing reviews for me now. But, yeah, there's one that's, like, uh, there's one that's, like, big on with clove, there's one that's, uh, uh like, thyme, and, yeah, they're, like, they're like awesome sauces, so. Okay, what else are people asking here? Um, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, just skimming through this stuff here. Do, do, do. What time zone am I in? I'm in, uh, Eastern time zone, Eastern Standard Time, um, you know, in the Canada and the U.S. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, because I'm in uh, London, Ontario, which if you don't know where that is, it's like between um, Detroit and Toronto. So we're like basically in the middle. It takes like, um, yeah, it's like like two hour, like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how fast you're driving. Um, either way. So yeah, we're surrounded by Great Lakes. So that's cool for going swimming and stuff and checking out the water and things like that. Um, yeah, so Eastern time zone. Um, yeah, we're just doing, we just do, uh, this is just like a time that we have that's like good for us to do like live videos because you know, we like, like, we both have full-time jobs during the week, and then at night we're just kind of, like, exhausted to do, like, live videos and stuff like that. Um, Jamie works Saturdays, too, so that's why we do it kind of early, because she's, she's supposed to be to work for, like, 10, but uh, she's kind of, like, half an hour late today, but she, uh, she works by herself, so it doesn't really matter a lot, I guess. Um, yeah. So, what's people asking? So love dirty dicks the best. I just love a mouthful of dirty dicks. I do. Dirty dicks is good. Um, I wish they had like a hotter sauce to be honest. Dirty dicks, because their sauce is like is really really delicious. It's like a really tasty sauce, but like I like sauces that are like a bit hotter to be honest. So. Um, but yeah, I did a video 
uh, early video. It's, you know, like I was saying before, like, my, some of my early videos, like, I kind of think, I, it's weird for me to watch them because I think, like, I've done better now. Like, the live videos aren't, like, the best quality or whatever, but I think my edited videos look pretty nice. And, yeah, the earlier ones. And, and yeah, like, like I was saying before, like, some of the early videos, like, our original plan was to do, like, um, something spicy and then do a movie review. So I think, like, Dirty Dicks, I just watched, like, uh, that movie Downsizing in a the theater with uh, Matt Damon, which I wasn't a big fan of, so yeah, I had some Dirty Dicks and watched and reviewed that. Uh, didn't really like that movie, but really liked the sauce, so. Um, somebody was asking about Tincture. Did I kind of skip that over? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, Hot Sauce Junkie Tim asks, Do I like Tincture? And then, um, yeah, then Roman was like, Tincture? So, I just haven't really tried a lot of Tincture. Um, but, like, the only one I tried, like, I did a video just really recently with that Kelly's uh, Malicious Intent, which, um, they don't really describe it as a Tincture or anything. They just say that it's uh, their hottest product yet and stuff. And, like, I tried it, and I liked that it was really hot, to be honest, but I didn't really like the, like, taste of it, to be honest. Um, like, to be totally honest, I don't know a whole lot about, uh, tincture. I know it's like, uh, some kind of, like, part of the extract process where you, like, uh, has something to do with, like, alcohol and extracting the, uh, like, the capsaicin from the, with alcohol and stuff like that. And, uh, when I tried it, like, it has, it had a really alcoholic taste and I don't, I don't drink, so... Um, I've never really been a fan of like alcohol, which I know some people might think that's weird because some people drink a lot of alcohol. And uh, it also like, it gave me that feeling of like, uh, when I put it on my tongue, it was almost like a, like a cool, like a cool mint thing. Like you just had like mint and I'm not really a fan of mint either. So I wasn't really big on that, but I did like that it was really hot. Um, I actually have never had tincture like in food before or like on food. So, like, if, uh, if people have, like, a um, suggestion on what, what food would be best to, uh, you know, to put some tincture on, like, uh, I'll try it. Because I got, I've got that, like, I've still got the, like, malicious intent there. Um, yeah, it was, like, crazy hot. Like, it was, uh, it might be, like, the hottest thing that I've, like, tried, to be honest. Like, uh... You know, because it was just like I just did like a uh, like an like an eyedropper full, and it was like it was like insane. Um, you know, when you eat like a whole bunch of like reapers or whatever, obviously like that's like crazy hot too. Um, but yeah, for like if you're comparing like volume, like the tincture was like just like for a small amount, it was just like crazy hot. So I think that's the hottest thing that I've ever had. Um, let's see, what are people saying? Da, 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 da. Hi there, Sir Chillyhead, how are you? Well, how are you, Andy? Welcome to the channel. You're in England, that is cool. Are you a fan of uh, UK Chili Queen? I'm not a fan of UK Chili Queen. Kind of surprising that she's not going to be... We were just uh, talking about... Um, I'm going to go to the... Uh, <clears throat> to the big chili eating competition. Uh, hosted by Ed Curry in South Carolina. And uh, a lot of big chili pepper eaters are going to be there. And I know UK Chili Queen was kind of saying on Facebook... She got kind of... She got a little screwed out of that one, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it sucks she's not going to be there. Because she would... I think she could probably win like you know she's 63 and 0 and all that so I'd, I'd like to I'd like to meet her too I've talked a little bit on Facebook and YouTube and that but yeah I'm, I'm a big fan of UK Chili Queen she's pretty awesome um what else are people saying there's Greg from Uncapped Films he's got some uh Crazy stuff on his channel. Check it out. 
Roman, I'm seriously gonna make you wait till Wednesday. I'm not gonna do crazy sauce, crazy stuff with Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole right now. Um, maybe later today, and then yeah, I'll put it out on put it out on Wednesday. You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. But uh, while you're waiting. You can tell all your friends, talk about it with your friends, and tell them this crazy thing's gonna happen on Wednesday that they gotta watch, so. Help me out, buddy. Um, all right, Tink, on, Tink is great on wings and in beer. Um, okay, cool. I, use, I don't really do either of those things, but um, yeah, I might put it on some like, some like mock meat nuggets. That might be good. I was thinking about putting, is it like, I was putting, thinking about putting some tincture in the like spaghetti sauce. Like what do you think about that? Is that a good, is that a good way to use it? Um, it's gonna put on some, yeah, put in some spaghetti sauce, then put it on my spaghetti. It seems like it's something, it's cause it's hot in just such small amounts. I think it would just be good to just drop on some stuff and just, uh, yeah, just like mix it up and stuff. What do you guys think? Do you guys ever do that? Um, let's see. Roman says, too bad she won't be there. You mean Jamie, when I do this, uh, try this hot sauce for your butthole? By that time she'll be done work. She'll be there, don't you worry. She'll be there for the hot sauce hot sauce for your butthole. We'll have to see how it goes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say too much about what we're planning, but I did go to the store and get one of these. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll just have to see how it goes. See if this uh, comes into play in the video. It'd be pretty crazy if it does. Uh, I don't know if everybody would wanna see that. What do you guys think? You guys wanna see uh, some hot sauce in my butthole? I don't, I, I think I might like lose some subscribers, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Maybe I would gain subscribers, I don't know. Uncapped Films, Greg says, uh, does Steve put cocaine in his, in his hot sauce? Um, I don't think he does anymore. Apparently he's like pretty clean and sober. I've like been watching a lot of his videos lately and he's is like a different person now. Um, but it's awesome, like, you just see him and he's like, trying to be all, like, like kind of cool and collected, but he's got like, just like the raspy voice from, you know, doing crazy stuff and drugs and stuff, I guess. So he's like wearing glasses, trying to look sophisticated. And then he kind of just like, recaps things that he's done in the past. And it's kind of, it's pretty interesting to seeing like, the difference between his attitude now and his attitude like, when he did like all this crazy stuff, so. Um, yeah, so probably not cocaine. I know you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding about uh, about just drinking tank, yeah. I thought so, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what I was saying anymore. Yeah, like adding the bomb to normal salsa, that's what uh, Jay is saying there. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought for like Tink, like should I just, should I drop it in something like salsa or some sauce or whatever? Roman says definitely, Tink on everything, put it in water even, okay cool. Maybe I'll try that, yeah that sounds like a good idea. Um, let's put it in some water. Andy says, are you going to do some hot sauce now? And I'm not, I'm sorry. I. Put some, uh, I had some oatmeal earlier in this video that you missed. Um, you can, you can watch it after. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, basically, at the beginning of the video, we ate some oatmeal, and I put a cup of scorpion pepper, put it in the oatmeal, make it, uh, hotter, and had some hot sauce on it. Jamie had some hot sauce in her oatmeal. And then, yeah, then we did a box opening, and then I talked about the crazy um, competition that we're going to on the weekend. So, and now I'm just talking to people until people don't want to talk anymore, I guess. And then we'll just, uh, then I'll just stop. So, 
Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Like, uh, we planned to... Whoa, it's like almost 11. I, we were planning to, like, finish at 10. But people still are still here. They're still talking. Usually, don't have this many people. And usually, they aren't so talkative. So thanks, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Speaking of people tuning in, it looks like Jamie is back. She's at work right now. But she is, uh... She's talking here. Uh, so I guess I gotta like, I guess I gotta behave. I don't want to get in trouble from, from Jamie, so. Okay, so, let's see, what else are people saying? <laughs> Roman says, uh, no, he was talking about a UK chili queen in South Carolina. Uh, keep the turkey baster in the bedroom. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'd like to see. Okay, so I don't know, like who planned who planned this thing out that's going to be in Carolina. I don't want. It seems like it's going to be pretty awesome, so I don't want to criticize it too much. Um, like Ed, it's it says it's hosted by Ed Curry, but there's also an involvement by um, like a an inter, international uh uh video production company, a uh, major, major streaming company that I guess we're not supposed to talk about it for some reason, but uh, probably the biggest streaming company in the world. Um, you can figure it out. But yeah, like why isn't UK Chili Queen there? Like she's like, uh, I guess they decided to, um, she said on her Facebook, that she was contacted by them originally, and then they decided to, uh, then they ghosted her after she like was like, okay, cool, like that's awesome, I'll do this competition. They ghosted her, and then she found out later that they were like following another chili eater from the UK, and they were like funding that chili eater's uh, way to uh, funding their trip to come to South Carolina and compete in this competition. So. I don't know, that's not cool. Um, but yeah, UK Chili Queen, like, just like, uh, pretty convincingly beat Johnny Scoville in that competition last weekend. Uh, like, stats-wise, and, um, you know, like, greatest chili eater in the world, uh, 63 and 0. And she doesn't, she's not going, so I don't know. Like, They'll probably be like, oh yeah, like the winner, you're the best like in the world, but like are they? Like you haven't gone up against UK Chili Queen, so how could you say that? Also, um, as far as I know, not gonna be there, but another one of my favorite uh another one of my favorite chili eaters in the world, if you guys know uh Giancarlo Gasparato, uh aka Jack Pepper from Italy, he's like insane too. Like he's got a crazy tolerance. After, after I did my challenge where I was like, oh, I'm going to eat the most uh, Carolina Reaper peppers ever eaten. Um, I ate 30 of them. Uh, a couple weeks later, he ate 35 just to show that he could eat more. So, um, yeah, so he's pretty good. Because he, he did it and, you know, I don't have, like, the tolerance of, like, some of those guys, obviously. Like, Giancarlo or, like, Dustin or, like, uh, those people. But I think I just have the gumption. I think I'm just like, I like feel it and I'm hurting and I just like power through it. I think UK Chili Queen does like the same thing. But like, yeah, Giancarlo Gasparotto, he has a Guinness World Record for uh, fastest time to eat, or uh, sorry, for most ghost peppers eaten in two minutes, uh, which is a record that he took from Ellie Beast, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. So. Yeah, I think uh, if you want the best chili eaters in the world, you need those those two people there. Um, other than that, I think they've got like most of them. Like, it'd be cool to see like uh, Roger Tierra there too, because um, he's done like some chili eating, but he's done like crazy spicy stuff. Like, he would be good at something like that. I guess they invited him, but he couldn't go, or he decided not to, or something. But anyway. Um... Looks like people are being a little more quiet here, so maybe I'll wrap this up in a sec. Um, what else are people saying? Oh, Steve-O 
Steve-O has some Toronto history. His mom is Canadian. That's cool. Canada represents. Does that make Steve-O half Canadian? Or does it work like that? Or is he just like full American? Because really, like, um, you know, everybody, well, except for like the native people of North America, everybody has ties to another country. So I don't know. I don't know how that works really. Like, I guess it doesn't even really matter. So, um, Uh oh, kids are fighting, so see you later, Jay. Good luck with that. Roman says, what does Jamie do? Working on Saturday. Pfft. Is that how you pronounce that? Pfft. Pfft. So, yeah, Jamie, um, she runs a store that um, sells, like, her, uh, her parents' stuff that they make. Her, well, her family stuff. Uh, so, her dad, it's her dad's company, makes, like, metal art. So they make, um, yeah, they just make metal art. You put it in your gardens, you can put on stuff, you put on walls, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so she runs a store that uh, sells that stuff. So, yeah. Political BS for UK Chili Queen? Yeah, I guess so. I don't really know exactly what happened. I don't think she knows exactly what happened. But... Yeah, that's kind of a crappy thing to do, to like tell somebody like, oh yeah, you want to go to this thing? Yeah, it'll be awesome, and get them all excited, and then just ghost them, and then they just find out like secondhand that like, um, that they're not going, and they're going with somebody else who's like, probably not as good. I, I kind of know who they, I kind of pretty sure I know who they're backing instead and stuff like that, but like, you like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why wouldn't you bring, like, UK Chili Queen, 63-0. and 0. Why wouldn't you bring her over there? All right, so, oh, Lisa's asking um, what I do for a living. And she's been wondering. Um, I work in a factory, and, uh, yeah, most of the time, like, I don't know. I got really good at my job and it kind of made me do like two jobs now, I guess. So I kind of go back and forth between two positions in this uh, factory, depending on which one like needs stuff made the most. Um, and at the factory I work at, they actually make uh, armor and seats for tanks. So yeah. Hey, Mark Sarger Aquarium, how's it going? Uh, yeah. Sorry, but you kind of came in right at the end. I'm kind of just wrapping up here. Because um, I've been talking for like two hours now. That's crazy. I was only going to do this for an hour. But uh, yeah, check out the video after. And uh, yeah, you'll see what you missed. Because I made some big announcements. I got some, uh, some crazy sauce too. That's going to be interesting. So yeah, that's what I do for a living. Um, yeah, work in a factory. So... Yeah, the one thing I do is I run a uh, CNC water jet, um, which is basically this machine that cuts materials um, using water and sand. So yeah, it's kind of like a, um, uh, I don't know if you know what like, like an ink plotter is, or like if you've seen like a, like a CNC plasma cutter, like a torch, like a laser. It's basically like um, this thing that shoots out water and a little bit of sand and it just like cuts like metal or plastic or rubber, um, stuff like that with water and the water goes into like a big tank. It's really loud, uh, gotta wear like ear protection and get wet all the time because the water splashes out sometimes, guess me. So yeah, I do that and then the other thing I do there is like totally different. It's like uh, like wire assembly. So I just like um, yeah, they basically uh, yeah. I put I uh, it's hard to explain. I make like inductors uh, and I make uh, like um, like a delay board. It's like a like a circuit board. Um, just like uh, soldering stuff together. And then I got a bunch of like wires that I crimp ends on and like put them all together and make
make a make a thing that makes chairs go up and down. So yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, but yeah. And Lisa, uh, oh, she builds minivans. That's cool. I guess maybe I don't know. What do you think? If you enjoy it, that's fine. Pays all right. Yeah. So. Oh wow, Greg is an FBI agent. I don't think that's true because I think you're in Canada and we don't have FBI here. But that's what I should have said. That is definitely what I should have said when Lisa asked what I do for a living. I should have just said that I was an FBI agent or something else. I should have said what would be awesome. Like, I should have said I was like like a, a, a knife thrower in the circus. Would that, is that cool? I don't know. I should have said something way cooler though. And then just not really elaborated so that, I don't know. Oh, a marine biologist. Yeah, that's a good one. I should have said that. Yeah, Lisa says she doesn't really enjoy what she does, but it pays the bills. That's how most people are, I think. I don't know. It's like people are young. They have hopes. They have hopes and dreams of like what they're going to become. I went to I went to film school. I was going to be a movie director, a screenwriter, and uh, move to Hollywood and just like be Steven Spiel like Steven Spielberg 2.0. But then uh, reality hits and uh, your dreams become shattered and you just um, yeah then you just make hot sauce videos in your spare time and work a job that like pays okay and gets you by but you don't really like it so yeah that's what happens to most people I guess right that's cool Roman is a is a rocket surgeon that sounds cool 25 years building minivans. That's a long time. The longest I've had a job for is like five years. I've gone back and forth between a bunch of jobs. My job now isn't too bad because the people who work there are uh, pretty like laid back and stuff. I've worked at, I've worked for a lot of people who are jerks. Like there's people who just like, you know, they have shitty lives and they get just like a little bit of power and then they're just like, like, you know, they become like a supervisor at work or whatever, and then they're they're just like, use their little bit of power they have just to like, be dicks to people, and that sucks. But my job I have now, the managers and stuff are like, pretty decent. They just like, leave me alone to like, get, do my stuff, and that's fine. Like, I don't know, I work, work pretty hard and people leave me alone. So, yeah, that's all right. People are all that matters, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, I guess I should go do some stuff, so I'm gonna go. Unless anybody has anything really awesome they got, any awesome questions, I'll give you five seconds. If you got another awesome question. One, two, three, four, five. So, if you're out of questions, I'm gonna go. But we'll, uh, we'll do this again. We'll do this again soon. And uh, yeah, check out videos. Maybe we'll do a live video and I'll talk about whatever happens at, the, uh, at this competition. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I do well. Again, I'm not, guarante I'm not guaranteeing a win because there's, like, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of great competitors there. There's five of us. I'd say out of anyone, I'm the I'm probably the biggest underdog. I'm probably the one that people know the least. I'd say, uh, pro like honestly, probably Dustin too. Um, it's one of the people people know the least, but I think he's got the best chance of winning. It's like kind of just seems like it's like set up for somebody who does what he does. But that's who I'm putting my bets on. So anyway, we'll see you later. Uh, next video is Wednesday. We're gonna do something crazy with the Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. So stay tuned. And yeah, and Atomic, that's who I'm talking about, Dustin Atomic. He is like, yeah, he's pretty awesome, but not a lot of people know who he is, except for just like the people who are real tight with the chili pepper community. 
person with two first names always sounds powerful and important. I hope so. All right. So, yeah. See you later. Thanks for watching.